tip for navigating teen life. Today I'm here with Daisy Jane from the Pittsburgh CW. Thanks for being here. Of course, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, so I know that you've survived your teen years. What was the hardest or most awkward part about being a teen? Well, I know for me, I actually moved quite a bit. So I moved in fifth grade, I moved in 10th grade, or after my 10th grade year, and in the middle of my junior year. So I went to three different high schools. So you can just imagine, you know, when you first go into high school, you're making new friends, you're trying to fit in. For me, I had to do that three different times. So for me, that was very difficult and very awkward, um, just trying to figure out where I fit in. Um, also, because I am um, half Filipino, half Italian, there just wasn't very many people in my inner city school or the suburban school that I went to. So it was just trying to figure out where I fit in. Yeah, I feel like a lot of teens struggle with trying to fit in. Yeah. Okay, on to question two. Thinking back to when you were my age, what is some advice that you wish someone had given you? Well, I know that I uh, wish somebody would have told me, embrace what makes you different and unique. One of my favorite quotes now is, um, some people were born to fit in, others were born to stand out and to not be afraid to embrace, you know, your quirkiness or how you look if you look different. Okay, on to question three. As a successful actress, What's the best advice that you could give to a teen who wants to accomplish their goals? Um, I guess I would say don't be afraid of no um, or the rejection. Especially being an actress, you can um, go for a part and think, okay, I'm gonna be awesome for this, and then you may not get the part. And it may not be because you're not good enough or you don't look good enough. It could just be simply that um, you you know, might have been um, just maybe not the right age or just something that isn't beyond um, or is beyond your control, but it doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong with you. It just means it wasn't your time for that um, that particular role, and there's always something better down the road. Thank you. That's really great advice. Okay, one final question. If you could go to dinner with any Star Wars character, who would it be? Well, I have to choose. I mean, this might be kind of, I don't know cheating because he's a new character, but I would have to say Baby Yoda because he's so cute and he's just, but I know he wouldn't talk or say anything, but the only other person I'd want to um, meet with is Darth Vader and he doesn't really talk much either, so it'd be a very quiet dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thank you so much for being here as our Celebrity Spotlight today. Subscribe for more awesome content on this channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!